Mr Dodson. Uh, thank you, Mr uh, Acting Deputy President. Uh, I rise to speak uh, to the Copyright Amendment Online Infringement Bill 2018. Uh, Labor will be supporting this bill uh, because it makes a number of improvements to existing regime uh, for protecting the rights of artists and others whose livelihoods depend on them being paid for what they create, whether that's music, movies, television, programs, books or any other form of intellectual property. Labor supports this bill because it will strengthen the current regime under which a court can make orders uh, blocking access to websites uh, that have uh, the primary purpose or the primary effect of infringing copyright. I should note, however, that we have been disappointed at the way the government initially handled this bill, uh, which led to some stakeholders, led some stakeholders to tell us uh, they were not adequately consulted or given the chance to enter meaningful dialogue uh, with the government on the final version of the bill. To allow stakeholders with concerns uh, about the changes uh, to the site blocking regime uh, being made by this bill uh, to be properly heard and their concerns considered, earlier this month Labor supported a cross bench motion for an inquiry into this bill by the Senate uh, Environment and Communications Legislation Committee. The referral to the committee was made on the 13th of November 2018, and the committee then advertised the inquiry on its website and wrote to relevant individuals and organisations inviting submissions. The committee did not hold a public uh, hearing, uh, but committee members carefully examined the 26 submissions rece received. I thank submitters for taking the time to write uh, to the committee and the committee members uh, for their diligent work in uh, reviewing those submissions and preparing a report, which was tabled on the 26th of November. The committee's report details the concerns raised by some submitters and provides comprehensive responses to those concerned. Ultimately, the committee made the following two recommendations. <coughs> Recommendation one, the committee recommends that the government review the effectiveness of the measures contained in the bill two years after its enactment. Recommendation two, the committee recommends that the Senate pass the bill. Labor accepts both amendments and recommendations. We understand that the government has committed to the, to the review the effectiveness of the measures contained uh, in the bill two years after its enactment in accordance with the committee's first recommendation. Labor welcomes that commitment and will take this opportunity to say that if there is a change of government at the next election, a shortened Labor government would also carry out that recommendation and review the effectiveness of the measures contained in the bill after its enactment. I turn now to what this bill will achieve. While the digital revolution has created enormous benefits for our society and our economy, it has also been highly disruptive. The rapid expansion of online services has also created many new challenges for law enforcement. But we in Labor do not believe the online world should be allowed to exist in a lawless frontier. To the contrary, we in Labor understand the importance of effective regulation in this, uh, in this area, whether it's to stop the selling of illegal weapons, to shut down the vile trade in child pornography, to prevent online radicalisation of Australians by terrorist groups, or as this bill does, to prevent the theft of intellectual property. This bill makes important improvements to the Copyright Act that will help to ensure it, conti it continues to protect intellectual property rights in the di digital aid, age. We in Labor recognise the vital importance of Australia's creative industries. Our musicians, our filmmakers, our television pro producing industry our artists all combine enormously 
to our societies and they contribute to our society in both economic and in cultural terms. The story that Australians love most are our stories, stories about our nation, our history, our people, whether on television or the big screen or in books. These stories are all produced by people who rely on copyright laws to protect their creative work. It is a copyright law that ensures that those in our creative industry are paid for the work that they do. Chapter 3 of the Australian Labor Party platform is titled A Fair Go for All. At paragraph 300, the ALP sets out the importance of maintaining copyright in the following terms. The legal framework of copyright is necessary to ensure that the income generated by artists, by arts, culture and heritage is fairly distributed between the creators and the institutions and the entrepreneurs who make it available. A successful copyright framework will support the education, arts, culture and heritage of Australians by developing and maintaining a national identity in the Australian creative industries, protecting the intellectual property rights of content creators, supporting new and emerging Australian creative talent, meeting consumer expectations of speed to market, securing the supply and divestment of Australian produced intellectual property, promoting competitive, sustainable and innovative Australian creative industries and promoting exports of Australian creative product to foreign territories. Our policy on copyright is consistent with our long-held view about the importance of arts and culture in our national life. When last in government and over the last five years of opposition, Labor has been working to support sensible changes to our copyright laws to ensure that they remain fit for purpose in protecting our creative industries and our artists. One of the most significant threats to the music and screen industries since the advent of the internet has uh, been the rise of online piracy, because online piracy undermines the capacity of creators, including musicians and screen industry professionals, to sell their work. To help reduce online piracy, in 2015, Labor worked with the government to introduce amendments to the Copyright Act uh, 1968 that allows the courts to issue site-blocking orders that oblige uh, carriage service providers to block access to identified pirate sites. These site blocking injunctions can only be issued by a judge and only for websites outside of Australia that are proven to have the primary purpose of infringing copyright material. This regime under section 115A of the Copyright Act it's necessary because many pirate sites operate in overseas ju uh, jurisdictions with lax copyright laws. The pirate sites operating in these foreign jurisdictions are generally out of reach of Australian law enforcement. Yet the damage these sites do to our creative industries and so to our economy is considerable. Representatives of our creative industry and the artists in Australia were very supportive of the regime introduced by section 115A and since 2015 these reforms have been successfully used to block a number of pirate sites with a measurable drop in the rate of online copyright infringements in Australia. However, rates of online copyright infringement uh, in Australia remains high in contrast to comparable overseas jurisdictions and new forms of copyright infringement are always being developed as the digital world rapidly changes. This bill responds to the ongoing challenge of online piracy by strengthening the site blocking regime in section 115A of the Copyright Act. In summary, this bill will expand the services that can be subject to injunctions to include online uh, search engine providers such as Google, in addition to carriage service providers such as Telstra, to 
compel the providers to take reasonable steps to not provide uh, search results that directs users to copyright and fringe websites. This measure is intended to reinforce the regime by ensuring that searches do not provide easy pathways to copyright infringement websites or infringing websites, to already block site copyright infringing sites through alternative pathways and web addresses. It allows uh, injunctions to be sought to block access to sites with the primary purpose uh, or the primary purpose or the primary effect of the infringement of facilitating the infringement of copyright. This is a significant expansion on the scope of the site blocking scheme, which has been limited to sites with the primary purpose of infringing copyright only. Stakeholders had been concerned that new websites such as CyberLocker uh, sites that are frequently used for copyright infringement uh, through file sharing of music, movies and television shows, but that it is, but it is difficult to prove exist for that purpose or that primary purpose fell outside the scheme. It is expected that the addition of a primary effects test will bring such sites within the scheme but without unduly widening its scope. This bill will also allow the court to issue more flexible injunctions uh, that can be adopted to maintain a blocking order without the application having to, to return to court for a new injunction when pirate sites change its address or access pathways. These adaptable injunctions will provide for the blocking of additional domain sites IP addresses and search results by agreement with the copyright owners and the service providers. This bill also helps to avoid waste, wasteful and difficult evidential inquiries for applications or applicants to establish the location of web hosting uh, sites by putting in place a rebuttal presumption that an online location is outside Australia. Finally, this bill includes a measure that will enable the minister, by disallowable instrument, to declare that particular on-site uh, search engine providers or a class of those providers are exempted from the scheme. This last measure is essentially a safeguard to ensure that injunctions are directed uh, only against uh, larger service providers facilitating the infringement of copyright. Creative industry representatives in Australia, representative in Australia that Labor has been consulting, uh, has already indicated support for the changes proposed in this bill. This includes our music and screen production industries. We know that the search in engine providers have been actively involved in the battle against online piracy and we trust that they will continue that battle. Although some companies and individuals have expressed concerns about the potential of this bill to be used inappropriately to shut down legitimate sites, we in Labor are satisfied that it contains sufficient safeguards to prevent its misuse. In particular, I'd point out that injunctions can only be issued in narrow circumstances by a federal court judge with the onus of proof on the applicant seeking the injunction. In making a decision whether, an issue is, whether, a, whether to issue a site-blocking injunction, the judge must take into account a wide range of factors. Under subsection 5 of section 115A of the Copyright Act, the court may take the following matters into account, among others. A. The flagrancy of the infringement or the flagrancy of the facilitation of the infringement. C. Whether the owner or operator of the online uh, location demonstrates a disregard for copyright generally. D. Whether access to the online location has been disabled 
by orders from any court of any country or territory on the grounds of or related to copyright infringement. E. Whether disabling access to the online location is a proportionate response to the circumstances. F. The impact of any person or class of persons likely to be affected by the grant of the injunction. G. Whether it is in the public interest to disable access to the online location and k any other relevant matter. And any decision by a judge to issue an order under section 115A, 115, is also of course subject to appeal. As with all new legislat legislative regimes, we in Labor are always ready to hear feedback from affected and interested parties about the way in which the regime is operating. If there are any unforeseen problems uh, with the way in which uh, uh, the modifications to section 115A operates in practice, uh, we will of course be willing to consider if further changes should be made to that part of the uh, Copyright Act to ensure it operates sufficiently and effectively to reduce online piracy. We in Labor are pleased that the protection of copyright is an area of bipartisan agreement. In the past, we have been concerned by some of the government's ill-considered announcements on policies that would roll back copyright protections, such as in relation to safe harbours laws. However, Labor stood with, the, with Australia's creative industries in opposition to the government's reckless plans to diminish copyright protections and we were pleased to see that the government backed down on these proposals. Labor is pleased to see that the government has come around to understanding the importance of regulating to, the protection, to protect the rights of our artists and the economic viability and cultural values of our creative industries in the digital age. We support this bill as a means to further uh, the importance of these objectives.